this video we're looking at the steps that we need to take to install the access server on Azure. Uh, as you can see, I'm on access server portal right now. You can get to this place by signing up for access server. So if you don't have an account, go to openvpn.net and sign up for an account for access server. Once you get to this portal, you're going to go ahead and click on get access server. And as you can see, we have options for different software packages and cloud images. We're talking about Azure, so we're going to click on Azure here. On this page, as you can see, there is a link. If you click on this link, um, another page is going to open up on your browser. Instructions, a step-by-step -step on how to launch a VM and connect your VM um, with the access server. Uh, the easiest way, just click on this button that says go to the marketplace. And we're going to download the access server from marketplace. So as you can see, I'm on a marketplace, and this is our open VPN access server. We're going to click on get it now and then continue. Um, once you click on continue, this is going to open up um, a create a virtual machine wizard on Azure. Here we go. So now we got two options here. Either we can click on create and go through each step or we can use a preset configuration. I'm just going to click on create for the purpose of this video. Uh, the subscription is what um, subscription you have. And then we're going to choose the resource group here um, based on your environment. And then we're going to give a name to our VM. Here, I'm, going to, I'm just going to call it um, Access Server um, uh, VM, for example. I'm just going to type that. And then uh, the rest of the stuff, again, based on your environment, the availability zone, uh, you can choose uh, what is appropriate and uh, move forward with the rest of the configuration. Now, when it gets to the authentication type, you can either choose SSH key uh, or you can choose a password. If you choose password, you need to type password. But for SSH public key, if you do have a key, you can use that. If not, we can generate one. As you can see down here, I'll select the option that says generate a new key. Then I need to give a name uh, to this key. I'm just going to uh, name it here, and then uh, continue um, to the rest of the steps. So click on Next. Again, when it comes to disk, make sure you uh, choose the appropriate uh, type of disk uh, for your environment and your VM. And when you're ready, click on Next to go to Networking uh, section. Once we get to Networking, I want to mention a couple of things here. First is the uh, NIC Network Security Group, uh, which is in advance. Uh, the VM image is already pre-configured with that, so you cannot change that. Uh, so advanced is selected for you. The second thing that I want to mention here is um, existing or configuring network security group. As you can see, automatically it generated a new security group for you. Uh, you can continue with this, or you can choose one of your existing security group or even create a new one if you decide to choose to do so again everything depends on your environment please go through everything uh, step by step and look at each options to make sure you configure everything appropriately again based on your environment and your desire when you already click on next go to management and i'm going to fast forward for the rest of these steps uh, till we're done with uh, installation of this vm Okay, we're at the part that we can review our configuration, and then we're, when we're happy with everything, click on uh, Create to create our uh, VM. So I'm going to click on Create VM. Um, the first thing we need to do is download our uh, key pair, the key, key pair that we just created. Uh, we will need this later on when we want to SSH to our access server or VM. So I'm just going to click on Download and download this key into my local machine here. And then we're going to continue with the rest of the um, deployment. This is going to take a few minutes. Again, I'm going to fast forward through this process and then come back once the deployment is completed. So deployment is completed, as you can see. Let's click on Go to Resources to go to our VM. And uh, all the information that we need to have, it's here, such as public IP address, um, private IP address, and so on. So. We're going to try to connect to this uh, machine right now and set up our access server. I'm going to bring up my command prompt so I can establish an SSH session. Oops, let me uh, type the right address here, um, copy it and paste it. 
Here we go, and hit enter. Um, once this is, uh, the session is established, the very first time you're gonna get the license agreement, we need to click on yes to agree to this agreement. Now, the rest of the questions here for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna choose the default answers, but when you install it, please go through each uh, question and answer them based on your environment, your network, your configuration, and your desires. So I'm gonna fast forward through some of the questions and come back um, when we're ready to move forward. Here we go. Uh, this is a question that we need to pay attention. This is basically is asking us if we want to use the um, admin, uh, uh, for the admin username, uh, the open VPN. So I'm just going to choose yes. And then um, here is asking if we want to create a password for open VPN or we want to use uh, a random password. If you leave it blank, it's going to create a random password. I'm going to type a password here, and then I'll confirm that password again and hit enter. So I chose OpenVPN as my admin uh, username, and I created the password. When it comes to the activation key, the following question, I'm going to leave it blank here, and I'll show you later on how you can activate this through the admin user interface or admin UI. So let's continue uh, with the rest of the uh, installation. And here we go, we're done um, with the installation. Now, a couple of notes here, as you can see the address for the um, admin user interface and client user interface is uh, noted here, but they're showing a private IP address. And that's probably based on our default subnet on Azure. Um, obviously, when you wanna to connect to these uh, portals, you need to use the public IP address instead of the private IP address. So I minimize my uh, command prompt here, and I'm gonna go to overview page of our access server VM so we can get those information. Here we go. So you can see the private IP address here. Uh, that's our private, and this is our public IP address. So we need to use this IP address uh, for the address when we try to access our admin UI or admin user interface. So we use the same address here with port 943 slash admin, but instead of that private IP address, we're gonna use the public IP address. So I'm gonna copy this, and then I'm gonna open another tab on my browser so I can uh, type the new address. Okay, so here we go. I put the public IP address, port 943 slash admin, and we're at the login page. Open VPN is our admin username, and I'm gonna type password, and then I click on sign in. The first time you have to agree to the license agreement, click on agree, and we get to the activation key page. Now, in order to uh, get our um, activation key, we need to go back to our um, access server portal, which we were uh, we started at the beginning of this video. So I'm going to minimize this tab, and uh, let me minimize this here, and go back to our admin uh, or access server portal. So here we're going to click on subscriptions. I already have a couple of subscriptions, but I need to create one or buy one. Choose the most popular one, the flexible subscription. And uh, you're going to choose the number of concurrent connections you need. Uh, two is free, and then anything more than that, you can choose. Then choose if you want to be billed annually or monthly, and then click on proceed to payment to enter your credit card information. For the purpose of this video, we're just going to use the two free connections. And we get to this page with our key. So I'm going to click on copy key so I can copy my subscription key. And I'm going to head back to my access server admin UI. So let me bring up that browser. And we're going to paste that key here and click on activate. So as you can see, our subscription is being loaded and activated and ready to go. So in this video, we saw how to install Access Server on Microsoft Azure through the Marketplace. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next videos. Thank you.